Welcome to today's Homemaker Chats video. Today is all about line drying your clothes. So this is part of the Building the Home Economy series, which is how you as a homemaker and help me to your husband can be managing your home economy to make your home a productive place instead of a consumption place. We don't just leave the workforce and come home and do nothing, but we become resourceful and steward our time and energy well and our finances well. And I think one of the ways that we can do that is by hanging our clothes on the line. So before we begin, my tea of choice for today's video is rooibos with fresh peppermint. I made it in my little, my favorite teapot. My sister got this for me years ago. It's cast iron. I love it. And it just makes you feel so fancy drinking afternoon cup of tea, especially on this rainy day. It has been raining all day, which has made it a nice cozy day to be inside and drinking a cup of tea. And I do have a little bit of honey in it. I have rooibos on our website, green rooibos and red rooibos. We import it from Scott's home country of South Africa. It's organic, the best quality. So if you wanna check that out, I'll have my website linked below. Speaking of South Africa, I had a little conversation conversation in the comment section with Jolene who is from South Africa and we were talking about the clothesline. So I had been contemplating doing a video on this for a little bit and after talking with her I'm like, you know what, it would be fun to talk about the blessing of hanging your clothes outside on the line, my journey with it, how you can do it on a budget because if you just type in clotheslines, they can be very expensive. So the whole point of having a clothesline is saving money. So I want to give some examples of possibilities of things you can do at home and be resourceful with the things that you have. So it costs little to no money to make your own clothesline. And then also just go through all of the benefits of hanging your clothes outside. Dryers weren't a common household item until it well into the 60s uh, when they became more affordable for people to have dryers in their home. Most countries today that are more tropical or warm like South Africa are Australia, it is very common to see clotheslines at people's houses. I grew up with my mom hanging clothes on the line. It was very normal to me. And then once I moved out on my own, I moved around a lot. And thinking back, I did live in places where we could have had a clothesline, but for some reason it just never occurred to me. And then after I got married, Scott and I went back to South Africa to visit. And in South Africa, it is uncommon to have a dryer. Nearly everybody hangs their clothes outside. Obviously the weather permits it, even all through the winter, there are days where you could hang your clothes outside. So it's very normal. So our house that we live in there has a clothes sign. So I started hanging my clothes outside there and I got hooked. I loved it. So when we came back to America, we moved into a rental house and that was the first thing that I wanted Scott to do was to make me a clothesline. It was a rental. We didn't want to do anything permanent. So we bought this pole from the garden section. It was one of those metal poles, but with a plastic coating around it. Put that in the ground, took a laundry line and strung it up, put two holes in the brick, tied it to the brick, and then we used a string to tie down the one end of the pole so that way it wouldn't lean too far when you hang clothes on the line. And it worked perfect. I loved it. I hung my clothes out on the line all the time in that season and it cost next to nothing, especially back in 2018 when stuff like that really was inexpensive. So then we moved after a year and the next place that we lived, we weren't there super long, but again, the first thing when we moved in, I was like, I have to have a clothesline and we knew we were gonna be there temporarily again. So this time we took a fence post, put it in the ground, looped the clothesline around it and then tied the two ends to a fence post. So this was shorter, it was lower to the ground, but again, it was useful, it was very functional, practical, and and didn't cost us anything because I already had the line and we used a fence post that we already had. The next place that we lived already had half the laundry pole up. So 
clearly it was there from someone else's use. Again, we were renting. We had a four by four post and then we also had a wood stick. So Scott nailed them together. Again, it was very simple. It was stuff that we already had. Thankfully, there was already one half of the pole at this house. And now at our current place, we again were resourceful with what we had. We cut down some mimosa trees. The top was broken off. So Scott cut down the whole tree and we used the tree as the post. And then we used the smaller branches as the horizontal post at the top, drilled them all together, used the laundry line that we had and we have a laundry line again. So we've never spent a lot of money on a laundry line. Now you can, there are beautiful options out there of ones that collapse. There are round ones. You can get some heavy duty um, metal poles. There's lots of options out there. So if it is a priority for you to have something that is more elegant or pretty or whatever else, there are an abundance of options of ones you can buy. But if the reason you haven't hung your clothes out on the line is because of the cost of those clotheslines that are for sale at stores, then see how you can be resourceful with the things that you already have. I looked up some pictures on Unsplash and there were many examples of of different things that people use to hang their clothes out. Some people hang the line around two trees. Some people just put posts in the ground or sticks in the ground. There are people who even use their balconies, put two posts out and tie string between the posts. That kind of makes me nervous being on a balcony. You really want to make sure you have some really good clothespins to where your clothes are not going to fall off. But I think that's a really cool resourceful way of hanging your clothes out even with an apartment. Another option for a clothesline is the retractable clotheslines. My grandparents had that and they you just pull it out and I think it's probably like 20 bucks for a retractable clothesline and you clip it to something and then once you're done you can put it away. So if you live in a small space where there's not a lot of room for something permanent, that's an option. Another option is where we used to get our milk from. Uh, the Amish would have this clothesline that was on a pulley system system and it went over their driveway and so it was from their porch over their driveway onto a pole and that's how they would hang their clothes is from the pulley system which I feel is pretty common in the Amish communities and so having pulleys up is another option. The ones that we have in South Africa one is a line that spins and that's really nice. You can get quite a bit on the line although everything is fairly close together and then we also have another one that is more of a traditional style one with the poles on each side very long and so those are the two different styles that we have in South Africa. I think it's always fun seeing what other people do because it gets your creative juices flowing and gets you to look around and think there are other options of ways that I can do this. There are also the wood drying racks that you can just collapse and set up. Those ones that are the accordion style, I have three of them. I got all three of them at either yard sales or auctions. I don't think I've ever paid more than a dollar for them. You can also buy those new. I used those in the winters. Two winters ago, I actually challenged myself. I wanted to see if I could go the whole winter without using the dryer, and I did. It was so cool to just challenge myself in that way. I could have easily used the dryer. I just wanted to see if I could go the winter without using the dryer and it was fun to do. And even now I do use the dryer when I need to. I use it over the winter. If I leave the clothes out on the line too late and the dew starts setting in and things start getting a little bit wet, I sometimes then will just put it in the dryer on low heat for a defluff just to get out that extra dampness and it works fine. So there's no rules around it. It's just a blessing to have the option of hanging your clothes out on the line. So now I wanna talk about all of the benefits of hanging your clothes outside. Number one, obviously it is better financially. The only thing it costs is the time it takes for you to do it. And that being said, that is an extra form of exercise. We live in a blessed world where that we have technology to do so much for us that we aren't moving as much as we used to. A few years ago, I listened to a Weston A. Price podcast on movement and how our ancestors would move all the time. They would take the laundry, go down to the creek or the river, scrub and wash all the clothes by hand, then hang the clothes to dry, 
bring the clothes inside. They were always moving. And uh, praise God for technology. That gives us a lot of extra time by having things like dishwashers, washing machines, dryers, but it also cuts back on our movement and our exercise. And so doing something like hanging laundry out on the line, you are getting exercise in by lifting, hanging, lifting, hanging. So consider it a form of movement, exercise, health. You're also getting out in the sun, getting your vitamin D in, getting the good sun rays into your eyes. It's a great excuse to get outside in the morning and hang clothes on the line. Now, our line is in an area that is pretty shady. Our clothesline only gets sunshine for a few hours of the day. My only other option was to put the line closer to the road. And obviously for a little bit of privacy reasons, I wanted the line closer to our house. So I'm sacrificing a little bit on the amount of sunshine that we get. But even with it being in partial shade, We've had no problems with our clothes drying out, the wind is helpful, it's nice and warm out, and really, if you have a clothesline with multiple layers, it's really only the two outside layers that get direct sun anyways. That being said, the sun could lighten your clothes. So for whites, that's really beneficial to whiten your whites, but for other clothes, there could be some effect on the coloring. Our old house, I hung our clothes outside all the time. It was in full sun and it was never a noticeable enough difference for me. Anything with a bad smell, leaving it out on the line helps get rid of all of those odors, especially like with thrifting clothes. A lot of times it has that normal fabric smell on it for people who use the fake fragrance detergents to wash their clothes and hanging the clothes out on the line really helps get rid of that fragrancy smell because I cannot handle that smell and hanging clothes outside with the wind blowing in it fresh air gets rid of all of that. So I highly recommend it for that reason as well. Another economic reason for hanging your clothes out on the line is your clothes will last longer. You are protecting the fabric. The dryer is actually very hard on clothes, whereas hanging them out on the line, they will last a lot longer. It's less hard on them where the dryer is agitating. So you're protecting your clothes, making them last longer, uh, keeping them nice and a lot of times hanging clothes on the line It's easier to get the wrinkles come out naturally from hanging outside You're also gonna get obviously less shrinkage There are certain clothes that I definitely should have never dried I put in the dryer and I immediately see they've shrunk Whereas if I only had hung dry them then they would have never shrunk and we love the smell of our clothes and linens bed sheets coming fresh off of the line, especially bed sheets. There is nothing that quite compares to the smell of bed sheets that we're hanging outside all day, put on the bed, and it just smells so fresh and good. So even just for the smell alone, I think it's worth it. Another thing that gets eliminated is that static electricity that gets on your clothes from having them in the dryer. You're not gonna have that problem out on the clothesline. You don't have to buy dryer sheets. I don't buy dryer sheets anymore anyways. I just use those wool dryer balls in my dryer because like I said, I still use my dryer. I'm not against dryers. I think they're a useful tool. I just think there's more benefits to hanging your clothes outside if it's an option for you. And last of all, there are no loud dryer noises, especially if you use those wool dryer balls. When you put, have those in your dryer, it's like doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, very loud. So just for the peace and serenity of the home, it is so nice to have clothes outside. And I even feel just very feminine hanging clothes outside on the line. There's something nostalgic about it. Now the cons to hanging your clothes out on the line is if you are worried about bugs being on it at the end of the night, um, sometimes if I leave my clothes out too late, like I said, they get a little bit damp and then I also start thinking, is there bugs in them? And that's when I just put it in the dryer, tumble dry it for a little bit. It gets all the bugs out and it's usually not a problem. Another con is if <laughs> you have birds flying over. I have had bird poop on our clothes 
to me it's happened so rarely that it's not that big of a deal i would just wash it off use a little stain stick if needed and then rewash it another con would be you are living according to the weather now that could be a con i like to think of it as a positive because you live according to the weather according to the seasons so there's not just one certain day a week i do laundry i look at the weather for the week and i plan the laundry days according to which days are going to be sunny so there are some times that i really want to wash our bed sheets but i don't because in two days it'll be sunny and I'd rather hang our sheets outside on the line so I'll just wait for a sunny day to wash our bed sheets and again there's exceptions sometimes it rains for like five days and we don't have another option so it's washing the clothes putting them in the dryer then there are days where it's rainy out and I will wash our clothes and then just hang them inside on those wooden racks that I have I have three of those so usually I can hang a full load of laundry between those three racks and that works out perfect too I'm sure there's probably some other negatives of hanging clothes outside or cons but I cannot think of any <laughs> So we are going to leave it here. If you have any other creative ideas, tips for hanging clothes outside, please put them in the comment section. And I hope that this video was fun for you. And I hope that where you live, that it's an option to hang your clothes outside because it really is a blessing. So I bless you, I bless your households, and I bless the rest of your day.